guys, it's Logan Mouse, and today we're going to be recording, we're going to be reviewing the PicTech Mechanical Gaming Keyboard and Mouse Combo Wired RGB Chrome Backlight Gaming Mouse with eight programmable buttons. This keyboard is a very good budget keyboard, and it comes with a mouse. The mouse, very good, has RGB, all of this RGB, it, the keyboard is anti-ghosted with blue switches, I do not know which blue switches they are, but they're blue switches, I don't think that it's hot. Swappable has 21 different light effect modes, and they're pretty clicky. So if you're a clicky gamer like me, I like clicky things. Not clicky thing. Um, clicky keyboards. I would recommend. I have not seen this keyboard on YouTube being reviewed. I've seen like different types of this keyboard being reviewed, but I didn't see this certain one. This is. This comes all this this whole combo comes around like thirty four thirty four dollars when you include this four dollar four dollar extra saving coupon. But then it, it without it it's gonna come out thirty nine ninety four, I'm pretty sure. But if you get the fastest shipping it's gonna come out like fifty two because it's like twelve dollars in twelve in fastest shipping. Which I've waited out, but it came one day two days earlier. It was supposed to come on Monday. Today's Saturday. Which is pretty good. It has anti ghosting, blue switches. It has almost full five star reviews. It's been reviewed a few times. But yeah, I have not seen this one on YouTube whatsoever. But yeah, guys, let's get to the test of this keyboard. And here is the keyboard and the mouse. I already have them all set up, so can't you don't have to wait a little bit for me to set it up. But I have the the pulse where you click it it starts pulsing which is like my favorite one it has i'm pretty sure 21 21 modes different lighting modes you're <sighs> gonna show them all so to change the lighting modes you click fn and then those buttons i'm pretty sure this one doesn't have one no this one doesn't have one that last one see it doesn't do anything but yeah, and to change the speed, you click FN, and then this button right here, right ever. Like, it's going to start posing faster, or not, switching faster, but then if I slow it down with this one over here, it'll start going slower. And I can turn down the brightness using that button and that button, FN. FN is like all for the lighting key. Turn it off. This is a faster way to turn it off. It's FN and then print screen turns it off. But then the lighting effects here we go. You click FN, hold up, FN and enter. Which is gonna just take it to this like this one color. This time it's just gonna be like a, a color just waving with blue on this side. So yeah, this one's just like purple going into like different colors. Not purple. Wait, it was purple right now. Oh no, it is changing. Never mind. It looked like it wasn't changing. Like a lot of colors. This is just like. I'm pretty sure this pulses. No, it's just, just one color. And yeah, this is just the same thing. Alright, that was the first one. Second one is. Just like. It like connects and then just pulses out. Alright, it's pretty cool. Like. But then, it, if you click FN and then click one like four times, it's gonna have like a different one on the same button. Like this one's gonna have like a second one. Like that. This one's just like. I'm pretty sure you just one single color, yeah. Alright, click home. Alright, this is the same thing. This one only had two. But then if you click page up, this is where it's just all red. But then if you click FN and delete, this is where, where it starts getting good. This is where you like rainbow, I could slow it down. Or I could speed it up. Like that. There's that one just like up and down. There's this one. And this is just like all colors. This one is just like all the colors. All the colors it has, it just pulses through them. This one is like the wave. It just waves it around. And then the next one is the one where you click pulse, my favorite one. It might be 
might be blurry on the camera, but it has, um, so, like, these things won't rub off. And, yeah, like, the double-coated, double-coated, and then there's, and then that's all the RGB there is, I'm pretty sure. I might be mistaken, but, yeah. And to check out their blue switches, I have the, the keyboard thingy. It's like my first mechanical blue switch keyboard, so don't really know much about it. But I know this is the uh, blue blue switch. Wait, you guys, I have to hold it on for a sec for a second. Eh. Okay, there we go. As you can see, let me turn off the RGB. It is a blue switch, as you can see. It's a blue switch. I don't know which blue switch, but. It says, it didn't say nothing on it. It's just a blue switch. But yeah, I don't know if it's hot swap up over. But yeah. Let me just put this L back together. Oh, how does the L go? Wait, the L doesn't go like that. It looks like this. Yeah, it looks like that. And, and then, here is a sound test. It sounds very clicky for them clicky gamers. I like, I love the clickiness. It's just so ASMR. -y. But yeah. All right, that's the that's the sound. And moving on to the mouse. Moving on to the mouse. The mouse has its own software. Which I have showed a few minutes before. The before I went on my camera. <laughs> it has oh this is um it has two DPI switch. The the lowest DPI I can go using the software is five hundred. The highest is seven thousand two hundred, which is like ultimate fast. I don't know who would use that. But then there's RGB on it. It has three side buttons actually. I don't know if you can see that. Pick it up for a second. It has one there. It has the that one, that one, and this one. The one down here, this one is a uh, fire key. That's what they that's what Pick Tech calls it. Which is like when you click it, it hits this three times. It's almost like double clicking, but triple clicking actually. You can change everything on a software, which I'll show you guys how to download it right now. But yeah. The, the mouse itself it's like smooth for like the big hand gamers smooth the problem is like it's not braided it's just the rubber same with the keyboard it's it's a combo so it comes together so it's all from pick tech there's a logo that's the logo so yeah it feels it feels like smooth doesn't feel too bad scroll wheel it's a decent scroll wheel i'm pretty sure it's like an optical sensor i don't know i'm pretty sure it's like a Oh no, it has a gaming chip in it. So I don't think it's an optical sensor. But yeah. It has a lot of RGB. Which is very good for them RGB gamers. Like. Oh, let me turn this on. Like, I love RGB. Like, on the camera it looks purple, but it's actually a rainbow. So, if you guys like RGB, you guys will love this. But yeah. I'll show you guys how to download the software for the mouse. And we are back, guys. And, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys how to download the software, which is a T6 wired gaming mouse. T16 wired gaming mouse. I'm going to show you how to download it. Oh, well. You go to this. I'll leave the description. I'll leave it in the description. The pictech.com slash pages house mouse. And, as you can see, this is the mouse we have. You click download. Download. It has no viruses. Look, I'll just check it in virus photo after I extract it. You extract it to P PC205. Put it right there. Go to virus photo. Just, I'm just going to show you guys this. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to show you it has no viruses. Open this. Open this. Open setup. Undetected. Nothing. Zero, zero viruses. After you do that, 
you open it, go to PC205, and click setup. After you do the setup, you should be good and get the T16 wired gaming mouse software. In, are we still recording? Okay. In the software configurations, we have A buttons, left click, right click, DPI buttons, mouse wheel, and then three buttons on the side. The three buttons on the side are three clicks for where you click it, and then click three times. Uh, like the back and forward, which are right here. You could link them to anything on Fortnite or any game. You have the DPI settings, lighting, which you could just change the lighting on it. P uh, mouse par parameter and well, polling rate. Right now, I would recommend the the thing for any game, like competitive anything. Right now, but in Fortnite, I wouldn't really rec recommend it for like like high competitive, but like casual casual competitive, I would recommend. But yeah, for like Minecraft, anything like. Rust, I don't know. I would recommend. But yeah, guys. Let's head on to Fortnite. This is my first time on for, um, Fortnite on my YouTube channel. So, I'm pretty bad, though. So, yeah. Let's head on to Fortnite. And, guys, we are in-game now. And, as you can see, it's like my first time putting Fortnite on my channel. But, yeah. It, on a review. As you can see, it's pretty responsive. And we're gonna try uh, uh, some free builds. I'm not too good, so. <sighs> there you go. Let's try out some free builds. Come on, I don't, I don't really know how to play Fortnite that much. I'm pretty trash at this game. It's pretty responsive, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. My memory took like a split second to respond to something. But it's, it's pretty smooth. Oh, come on. It's pretty smooth. The mouse, it, it, goes, it goes with a good combo. It goes with a good combo with the keyboard. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the, the three clicks. Well, I have it on two clicks, but... I'm gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna click the button. Hey, yeah, I have it on two clicks. Wait, it would have looked like this if I was using my mouse. It looks kind of fake though. When I click the too much RGB but like I really love RGB for some reason. It's pretty good. RGB is pretty good. And and yeah. It's pretty good actually for a bunch of keyboard with blue switches. It's not gonna have like cherry and max blue switches but it has some type of blue switches. I wonder which ones. The lightings on it are pretty good. Not the best. Not like the RK6 Royal Clutch, but it works. For them casual arena games in Fortnite, Modern Warfare. Yeah, it works. There's nothing bad about it. Like, it's smooth. Would I recommend for Fortnite? I would. But only if it's like not co if it's not like super competitive, like legendary arena or le like the highest arena. Not for that, but but for like casual, well, pro probably you can probably use it for like the, the legendary. But I'm not, I don't even know what it's called. Division in like ten, like that. I would recommend. Well, not would would, but like my minimum. My minimal part of me says I kind of recommend, but not really, because there's all sweats on it. But yeah, as you can see, the gameplay is pretty smooth. 
Um, but then for the creative, I would recommend like in the mouse suit. If you, if you, oh, for Minecraft, for Minecraft, if you're using a sword. Just that would be so cool. Cool. It's like double click. If your mouse can't double click, if you can't drag click with this, just double click. Put the button on the side or triple click actually. And, it, and if you guys need have any problem with this keyboard, just, just let me know in the comments because and the manual shows how to change all the lighting effects if you didn't really hear me during the, the um, test. If you didn't hear me, well, just on the manual when you purchase it, like, I would recommend it. Anybody that says if, if you would recommend it, I would. Yes, I would. For Minecraft, yes. For, like, any casual game. But, like, for Fortnite, you can still play it. You can actually use it for any game, but... Probably PS4. Mm, PS4, next Xbox, I... Want to recommend, but at the same time I don't. But I'll just say recommend. But yeah, guys, that was that was a review of the pick tech mouse and keyboard combo, which is very good. I would say that. Not, I'll give it a five stars. Like it's good for gaming, good for office, everything. It's just good for everything. For being a, a a budget keyboard and the mouse having a software, that is pretty good. Oh yeah, and this is the upgrade version keyboard of the. If you search up like the PicTech one, you'll see a different type of keyboard. Like where the logo of the PicTech is gonna be different. Like, there's gonna be like a different thing next year, which means that's the older version. This is the newest version, which nobody has uploaded a video yet. Which I was making my research. Nobody has uploaded one. Nobody has uploaded one. And they all uploaded the old version of the pig tip mechanical keyboard. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a P7. The other one used to be. No, this is a P8. The old one was a P7. Because the Am Amazon. I don't have it up. Open. On the Amazon. Uh, Page, uh, it says it's the upgrade version of the P7, I'm pretty sure. Which I'm pretty sure is the one that they have on YouTube. But yeah, the mouse is smooth itself. With a, I have a soft mouse pad, not a rough one. The, for being, it's a mechanical blue switch keyboard. Pretty responsive. I used to have a membrane. Used to be a little bit less responsive. It's much faster. You can tell. I can tell. Stabilizers on the on the keyboard, decent. Not they just wobble a little bit. Sh shift, they just wobble a little bit, but it's not like the worst stabilizers. But you can you can still you can still you can still um uh play on it. Like there's not like the worst stabilizer ever. But yeah, guys. This is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. So, cause it's been pretty long and my upload speed isn't too good, so I don't wanna wait like a year for it to upload. So yeah, guys, I would recommend this keyboard. I'll leave a link for in the description for this combo. It's only like about right now. There's a coupon on it, four dollars off, which will make it thirty-four. With the, if you have the if you take the free shipping, it's gonna be thirty-four ninety-four. I'm pretty sure for the total, the grand total. But if you put the the fastest shipping, which is, gives you twelve dollars more to your checkout, it's gonna be like forty-two. I'm pretty sure around there. Or I don't really know how to do math, but yeah, guys. I picked the the slowest one. And yeah, guys. It came. It came one, two days earlier. I would recommend this keyboard if you get it early. But yeah, guys, it's gonna be in the video, guys. This is gonna be in the video, guys. Um, this is Fader Gamer. Right,
left foot slide. 